When Apsaras I went into ancient India, he made his encampment at Madana in the northern part of the nation. There he took from a nearby mountain the Maitat stone and set up his altar. At Madana, he selected amongst his people an order which were to remain in that locale and pass the teachings down through history, that these teachings would remain on record for all time to come. This order became known as the Order of the Mystic Masters of Madana. A person coming into this order could become masters by following the steps of this order. Aradia taught Apsaras that everything that there was, each had its own special power by shape, feel, and dimension, and that certain things had more energy than others, that there were certain steps to also reach to obtain this same power, and there were certain ways that this power could be used, that everything that was obtainable was reached by the magical number of seven. At least in this plan, there were seven levels of enlightenment, seven colors, seven mystic senses, seven rays of energy, seven master numbers. There were seven masters over the order that were to teach others the way to masterhood. There were seven paths to masterhood, which were seven main dimensions, seven great animals having the greatest power. There were seven priesthoods of Kaza, a.k.a. As A.K. was the same as Kaza, but was called Kaza instead of Ake in ancient India. There were seven key places on Earth that held more power than anywhere else. The location of the ones in North America were called by another name by the natives of those places. Manchasta being called Moipoki, Mount St. Helens, Waishigoa, Manteba, Mushiopoka. There were seven seals that were needed to open the seven doors. Each door opened one of the seven dimensions. Each of the seven seals were to be found in different locations upon the earth. It took most of a lifetime to obtain all of these things to reach mastery for those that never reached mastery by belonging to this order, nonetheless bettered their life and obtained a better and higher conscious. This was strictly a mystic order and became widespread in part of the teachings. The first path starts out from the way of man. The second path is through awakening. The third path is by the way of helping others. The fourth path is through strength of self. The fifth path is through passing on good knowledge to others. The sixth path is through being reborn. And that last path is through casting off all negative energy. The seven priesthoods. The first is one who seeks a higher level of consciousness. The second has found the right path. The third is going the right direction. The fourth is tuning into all nature. The fifth is teaching others what they have learned. The sixth has reached monkhood and the seventh goes forth into the world to pass knowledge of the order to others and try to reach masterhood. The seven seals. The first is the tro, a large paddle-like stick with symbols of all the other seals upon its paddle end. The second is the tron, a long staff over seven foot long with a round crystal at one end to attract the energy from the sun. The third is the ankh, a cross with a loop at the topmost end from which the power of life flows through. The fourth is the scarab, a bottle, dung beetle, which moves the earth and represents the creator. The fifth is the yama, a round wheel-like object made of clay, having a square hole in its center and having the inscription of the creator in seven major languages on it. The sixth is the pentagram, the five-pointed star which stand for the cosmic man. The seventh is the hexagram, the six-pointed star which stands for the full power of enlightenment. The seven doors. The first is Mashaka, to the Thought Dimension. The second is Pentron, to the Shadow Dimension. The third is Amashak, to the Timeless Dimension. The fourth is to Lamashak, the Ego Dimension. The fifth is to Orgoya, the Spaceless Dimension. The sixth is Mygog, the Fire Dimension. And the seventh is Amoria, the Dimension of the Perfect Garden of Life. In order to find all the keys, the right doors, go through the priesthoods, and go down the right paths. One must be willing to follow the seven levels of enlightenment, use the seven colors of the godhood, use the seven mystic senses, tune into the seven rays, use the seven master keys. To follow the seven masters, have something each from the seven great animals go to one or more of the seven key places on earth, hold one of the seven priesthoods, obtain one of the seven seals to open one of the seven doors, and one will reach a higher conscious. Or if you get hold of all seven seals, Hold all seven priesthoods, use seven of everything, and open all seven doors, you will reach masterhood. Providing also you go to each of the key locations on earth, and opening the right door, 
with the right seal at each place. The numbers are in order of each place, each seal, each door, each priesthood, each animal, etc. The seven levels of enlightenment. 1. Right thought. 2. Right action. 3. Right work. 4. Right love. 5. Right brotherhood. 6. Right path. 7. Right living. The seven colors of the Godhead. 1. Gold, the sun. 2. Silver, the moon. 3. White, the creator. 4. Red, the color of life. 5. Blue, thought power. 6. Yellow, fire. 7. Green, life. The seven mystic senses. Prophesy, dimensional sight, mediumship, divination, thought translation, levitation, mental telepathy. The seven rays. The violet ray. The green ray. The amber ray. The white ray. The blue ray. The red ray. The purple ray. The seven master numbers. Tres, seis, nove, onze, vinte e dois, cinco, sete. The seven masters. Dr. Zero Geroni, Mazok, Quijota Moja, Serraca, Jamas Inja, Homak Poal, Dr. Singh Lamamshak. The Seven Paths, Madana, Kaza Yahoma, Tora, Orga, Summerland, Hadan. The Seven Great Animals, Eagle, Lion, Tiger, Elephant, Whale, Cobra, Beetle. The Seven Priesthoods of Soul, Seeker Loa, Magoda Priest, Loa, Magoda Proctor, Loa. Magoda Monitor, Central, Magoda Teacher, Central, Magoda Kasman, Central, Magoda Mystic High. The seven key places of the earth. Arga, India. Mant Arat, Turkey. The Materhorn, Switzerland. Manat Shasta, California. Manat St. Helens, Washington. The Third Hopi Mesa, Arizona. Manta Tabor, Oregon. The Seven Seals. The Trey Wood. The Tren Stick. The Ankh. The Scarab. The Wheel. The Pentagram. The Hexagram. The Seven Doors. Meshaka, Pentrum, Amarshak, Jamamashak, Orgoya, Maigog, Amoria. Explanation to the teachings of the mystic masters of Madana. 1. Right thought. Thinking right thoughts. 2. Right action. Doing that which is right. 3. Right work. Performing tasks in a right way. 4. Right love. Loving all of the creation of God. 5. Right brotherhood. Having love for your fellow man. 6. Right path, following the way of life that would be in a godly sense. 7. Right living, living in a good manner that would be good for one's well-being. 1. Gold, the sun, using this metal and color to gain the power of the force of the sun. 2. Silver, the moon, using this metal and color to gain the power of the force of the moon. 3. White, the creator, using this color to glean power from the Creator. 4. Red, the color of life, using this color to prolong a good life. 5. Blue, thought power, using this color to heighten thought power. 6. Yellow, fire, using this color for inner warm peace. 7. Green, life, using this color to enhance one's life. 1. Prophecy, using your inner powers to bring out your prophecy powers. 2. Dimensional sight, using your inner power so that you can see into other dimensions. 3. Mediumship, keeping in touch with the spirit world. 4. Divination, using objects and signs to see into the future. 5. Thought translation, listening to another speak and then translating their actual thoughts rather in what they actually said but also what they actually mean. 6. Levitation. In this sense, lifting one's conscious to a higher plane of thought, rather than the thinking on a day-to-day -day basis, but rather on a height level, such as a more godly level. 7. Mental telepathy. Speaking to another through your thoughts, directed to their thoughts rather than the spoken word. The violet ray. The earth and space that we dwell upon is surrounded by cosmic rays, and in order to capture these rays and benefit by their power, we use an attractor. Use a blue and red crystal, one behind the other, facing toward the sun, and aimed directly toward the thymus gland. Two, the green ray, place a green leaf directly over the heart facing the west. Three, the amber ray, place a piece of amber glass directly over the solar plexus facing the east. Four, the white ray. Place a piece of milk glass against the forehead facing north. 
Five, the blue ray. Place a drop of water in the palm of each hand, holding them above your head. Six, the red ray. Place a red crystal against the back of the neck while facing the south. Seven, the purple ray. Lay down on your back on a piece of blue cloth and look darkly at the full moon. These cosmic rays will enhance your full cosmic powers and give you better leverage on using these powers. By using the master numbers in all your performances, you will heighten your powers even more. Each one of the seven masters had a key message. If one listened to this message and followed it, one could unlock all the doors they came upon. Dr. Zero Gironi, always listen to your inner voice. Mazok, let proudness prevail. Kihotamaha, help a stranger in need. Zeraka, show kindness. Lama Inja, be humble. Homak Pol, be graceful. Dr. Singh, Lama Mashal, stand firm in your beliefs. By following the seven paths, one would get through life the way one wanted to. By using the parts of each of the seven animals, one would have the power to carry out his tasks. One has to go through each step of the priesthood in order to reach the top. At the seven key places on Earth, the Creator placed the greatest power of itself so that the human could glean this power by being at those places. Each of the seven seals represented a different power that was aligned with each of the dimensions that one could travel through to reach mastery. The seven doors were actually mastery to overcome. The thought dimension, using one's thoughts in a right manner, thinking good thoughts. Two, the shadow dimension, planning the right future that would best benefit you. Three, the timeless dimension, practicing the right way. Each day without thought of whether you will die in the next minute or live another hundred years. Four, the ego dimension, always bettering yourself. Five, the spaceless dimension, always seeking to go to higher levels of consciousness. Six, the fire dimension, always showing outward size of love. Seven, the dimension of the perfect garden of life, approaching a pattern of life that others will look up to you for inspiration and guidance. Keys to solving the 13 parts of the seven mysteries. Right thought from waking to sleeping, thinking good things, planning good plans. Right action, whatever you physically do, do the right thing. Right work, whatever chore or occupation you pursue, do it in the right way. Four, right love. You must accept and love all that has been created by a radia. Right brotherhood, wanting to help others in need of help without accepting reward or payment. Right path, following the teachings from the QR Beth and living by these teachings. Right living, caring for your body in a healthy way, eating the right foods, drinking the right liquids, using the right herbs, not putting anything in your body that would be harmful to your body. One, gold, owning, wearing or using this metal for cosmic gain rather than purposes of gain or greed. Two, silver, owning, wearing and using this metal for cosmic gain rather than purposes of gain or greed. Three, white, the wearing of white garments during rituals. Four, red, wearing this color of garments in healing rites. Five, blue, wearing garments of this color when chanting. Six, yellow, wearing garments of this color while meditating. Seven, green, wearing garments of this color when doing services of helping mankind. One, prophesy, using your inner powers daily to guide your life through prophecy. Two, dimensional sight, practicing your inner power so that you can see into other dimensions and gain the power and learning from other dimensions. Three, mediumship, contacting others of your kind in Summerland for their guidance. Four, divination, using objects and material things to prophesy the future and guide others. Five, thought translation, reading others' thoughts by the expression of their eyes, their mouth, their facial tension, their movement of body and hands. Six, levitation, raising your thought level to a higher plane in all of your waking hours and reaching for a higher conscious level. Seven, mental telepathy, speaking by thought level rather than by mouth. One, the violet ray opens your cosmic power and gives you a receiving station for gaining greater knowledge. Two, the green ray gives you the resources to help others. Three, the amber ray aligns you with Aradia's power. Four, the white ray gives you higher energy during rituals. Five, the blue ray makes your chance more powerful. Six, the red ray 
gives you greater healing power. 7. The Purple Ray opens your mind to solve mysteries. After having been in Madonna for five years and after seeing more than 25,000 Madonnas join the faith, I had decided it was time for me to leave and go into other parts of the world and give my teachings. Amarshak had reached Magoda Mystic and he had changed his name to Giro Gironi, which means higher plane consciousness in the Madonna dialect. He is headed for masterhood and when he obtains it, he will visit me wherever I might be. When one reaches masterhood, they live in their present bodies for all of eternity, become perfect in every way, in perfect health, perfect being, perfect thought, perfect harmony, and perfect power. They cross dimensions at will. They go onto the abode of love at will, or travel the cosmos, or walk through stone and fire. They cannot die, or can they be harmed or slain. As I prepare to leave this most beloved land, the ruler, Zorica, has obtained Magoda Kazman and is also a patriarch in the faith. Zorica has been a great friend and a most kindly ruler. I shall miss him. More than five years have passed with us in Madana, as we start out for the lands of the north. There will be more than 100 traveling with me, as well as some Madanas who do not want to leave my side. I bid all of Madana farewell as I am leaving to spread the teachings to more of the world.